Well, howdy and welcome to the Bender Bunker, your one-stop shop for B-Bender related lessons and videos. And apparently it's blues time here in the bunker. Triple B, Bender Bunker Blues. And I think I can guess what you're thinking right about now. You're thinking, wow, I should probably hit the pause button on this video right now. Go grab my significant other, the kids, the pets, whoever's here. Bring them in and say, guys, get in here quick. You won't believe what I'm seeing, but there's a middle-aged guy playing electric blues licks in his guest room and putting it on the internet and you just never see that. Point taken. So let me take a moment to assure you, the home viewer, we are not becoming the blues bunker. We will remain the bender bunker where we focus on country and western pedal steel type B bender action. We're just going to take a small diversion into the blues today because that's kind of my default mode. It's what I grew up playing when I first started playing electric guitar in my early teens. So naturally when I got this bender guitar about three and a half years ago, I Tried out my stock blues rock licks, and man, they sounded awful. Not going to lie to you. That was okay. I got it for country, and that's going well, and I like what's happening there, and it led to this channel, no complaints. But it doesn't mean I ever gave up, and I've been chipping away for the last three and a half years to try and find something useful, that, in how I can integrate the bender into my blues playing, because surely it can be done. And I think I'm just scratching the surface, but I do think I have a couple of nuggets to share with you that if you're on the same journey, you might find useful. And so what I'm going to do is uh, the, the lesson's going to be based in C, and we're going to work purposely, especially the first half right there. You know what you love it. You grew up with it. I think it's what they call it, the pentatonic minor blues box. And we're going to work some licks there with the bender, trying to use the bender in such a way that it enhances what we're doing, not distracts from it. And I'll give you an example. You heard the main line I played purposely over and over there. I'm doing there the bender allows me and believe me I've tried it and I can play that lick without the bender it sounds like this it sounds nice but what the bender allows me to do in that case is when I'm right there in C on the eighth and tenth fret it allows me to drone the four string with the B string being bent because again I'm, the bender is allowing me to take that a full step up bend right and when I do that, I have to release the four string if I'm not using the bender. I can't drone it. I've tried. I'm going to wager nine out of ten of you can't do it either. See if you can drone that. You've got to let go of it when you do it manually. But with the bender, you can drone this, this four string, which is a droning root C note. Right? And I, that's kind of what I'm getting at. I'm trying to find ways to bring the bender into the electric blues mix that aren't too twangy. That's, not, that's, that's country. We're doing that over there later. Not too twangy and enhances what we're doing. And then uh, I go a little nuts like you saw in the opening there. We're going to get out of pentatonic land, go down the neck some, and uh, try and mimic the phrasing of a slide player using the bender. Right, the old Elmore James stuff. We're going to try and see what we can do with it. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on there, give you a few tips if you want to get involved in that type of fake slide playing, because the bender could be used uh, to great effect. I'm just kind of scratching the surface, like I said. I think there's more to be done, but uh, we're going to have some fun with that. And uh, hopefully by the end of all this, the next time you, uh, you go to the End Zone Sports Bar and Tavern for that Monday night open mic blues jam, you don't leave your bender guitar behind. You take it with you because you're going to now hopefully have some things that enhance your playing. That's my goal with this lesson. See if we can do that. You take these, you make them your own like you do with all the lessons. And you take the guitar to the next open mic night, you, uh, you unleash a little bender on them with the blues, and hopefully when you come off the stage, they say, wow, that sounded great. Can I buy you a free drink? And uh, if we can maybe get enough of these uh, bender licks integrated into our blues playing, it could, it could equal more free drinks. All right, just, that just occurred to me. Well, there's a good goal. Let's try for that. All right, go grab your guitar, because uh, the train to Bluesville is uh, leaving right now. <laughs> scare you away with blues playing. I appreciate you sticking around. I think we're going to have some fun. Let's just do some simple things to warm up in terms of getting that bender involved in our blues playing in a hurry. Again, we are going to be in C, so just make that C bar chord. That's the area we're working out. And as such, let's take the top end of that bar chord, the top two strings on the eighth with our index finger, all right? And then that's going to just naturally want to kind of rest against the third string to deaden it. I'm good with that. That's kind of what we want. Let's just do a real quick down pick of those top two strings and do a rapid succession on the bender up and down twice. That's just a good way to kind of get it involved. Really easy, you don't have to think about it, right? Get you comfortable with the bender. And uh, 
Again, I'm not gonna concentrate on any of the after licks. I'm gonna show you the bender parts. I'll probably follow them up with some pentatonic style licks, but you uh, go ahead and use the licks that you feel comfortable with. Uh, I'm just kind of showing you some, some extra licks for context coming out of the bender parts, okay? So there we go. <laughs> Let's keep our finger there, index finger, top two on the eighth. This time, let's down pick it, take the bender all the way up. When we get to the top, let's high pick uh, up pick on the high E. Right? And then let's let our ring finger go over to the B string 11th, hit that note to let the bender down. things to do with your bender you don't have to think much about them and they're concentrating with that top two on your index finger on the eighth now let's work off of more of the opening lick I did and that's purposely right there in the aorta of the uh, pentatonic blues box for C and I'm working off the fourth and second string primarily what I'm doing is I'm sliding up to the fourth string tenth with my middle finger one note there when I get there. I hop over to the 10th string B, or 10th fret on the B string, I should say. I do a note there, and then I come right back to the fourth string 10th that I never moved from. It's a three note situation. All right, but where we get the bender involved is that third note. So we just did fourth string, second string, fourth string. By the time I get that uh, last note back on the fourth string 10th, I'm pre-bending because what I'm doing then for the fourth note of the sequence is I'm letting my index finger go down to the B string eighth, and then that's how I let the bender down when I pick that, that note. So practice that, get it smooth. You know, sometimes you, you're gonna pre-bend too much before you get off the 10th fret on the B string. You gotta get used to not doing that. Passing the passing notes there are on these again eighth and tenth on the third string. Right, one of our opening sequences into the riff. Now let's take that riff. Now that you've got that comfortable, let's extend it and go up a little bit after it. So we just did the, the riff we learned. Bender's down. I'm sliding up here on the third string 12th and then the index finger's go, with my middle finger and then the index finger's gonna go behind it on the B string 11th, which is a very normal part of the blues box regardless of the bender. Right? This time we're using the bender. So when we do third string, we start with the third string 12th. we take the bender up and down again like I said in the opening we're letting the two drone together that's why we're using the bender and then when the bender comes down we're gonna hit the third string 12 still being held there again so it's kind of so after we bring the bender down to B string 13th with my ring finger, one note there, hop up to the high E 11th with my index, and then come back to the B string 13th. This time I'm substituting with my middle finger so I can get more vibrato on it. So the two together. Similar working off of this B string or B string 11th and G string, these two together that we just learned there. Let's do this. So, what I'm doing is I'm sliding. Same thing. 
thing. I'm sliding third string 12th and then B string 11th next to it. I'm taking the bender up when I, I start with the G string 12th note first, but pretty much quickly go to the B string next to it. <laughs> Bender's one up and one down, so third string 12, B string 11. And what I'm doing there is I'm coming off of that and I'm going to the tenth fret on the third and second string, and I've got my middle finger on the third and my ring finger next. Right? And then I'm dropping the third string down with my index finger to the eighth. staying on the same two frets. What I'm doing now is my middle finger that's open, I'm letting it go over to the G string 10th, and then that allows my index finger to switch over to the B string 8th. And when I get that position there, then I can do a nice up and down with the bender. It's very easy to do. We're going to do this. And what I'm doing there is I'm taking the index finger, I'm sliding into the top two on the eighth like we started with, right? And when I get there, so as I slide in and you start to hear the top two on the eighth, the bender's going all the way up. And then I'm letting it come down as well while the finger's still there on the eighth. Bender's down. And what I'm doing is there's still a lot of audio coming off those notes even though I just took the bender down. So I'm allowing that audio to let me slide up to the top two, same finger, on the eleventh. And then... Right? I, I didn't pick it. I took the bender all the way up once I got to the eleventh. Now that I'm there, I am going to start with the high E and pick those two notes. Let the bender down. So here's what we got. Bender's down. Now I'm switching fingers. I'm going to go ring finger for the top two on the 13th. When I do that ring finger on the 13th, I am picking the B note. Taking the bender up, hitting the high E. And then coming back to the B string to let it down. So all together. Sorry, all together. And then a fun thing to do there is a. We just came down here. I'm going to the B string 11th with my index. Coming back to B string 13th. And then high E 11th. B string 13. So all together. All right, that's uh, that's the first part of it. I'm going to come back and get us into that fake slide land after I go grab a frosty beverage. Stay tuned. Whoa, you're still with me. You might really have the blues. I hope you're okay. I'm having fun. Hope you are too. Tell you what, let's get down the neck and start playing around with some of that fake faux slide guitar sounds I was trying to get in the opening. I'm not a real strong uh, slide player. It's not one of my specialties. So I really like having the bender available to me to sneak a few uh, fake slide passages in. I think it has a little secret sauce to the mix. Here's the basic one we're going to work on. <laughs> And before we do that, let's just 
learn how to get down the neck in a way that might be fun as well using what most of what we already know which is this <laughs> right up here on the 10th fret, that main riff you've already learned, right? Now let's stay on the 4th and 2nd string together, let's make a different pattern down the neck. So it's 4th string 7th and B string 6th, that exact pattern, take it down 2, so now it's 4th string on the 5th fret and 2nd string on the 4th. So the patterns are... So we already know what we're doing with the bender up here. It's the same thing we do in that main riff. Bender's down. Now as I slide into the second position, I'm sliding into that note on the fourth string, giving me time to pre-bend with the bender, and then hitting the B string to let it down. Bender's down again. Two down on that new pattern. Slide in, pre-bend, exact same thing. I'm doing a double waggle with the bender D into this one though. You know what I usually do to end it is just hit fourth string seventh and third string fifth. And now we're ready. We're right where we need to be with our hand to do. That's the first part we're going to learn to the slide. So what we're doing there is our index finger on the B string, we're sliding into our target of the sixth fret. And like we do so often in these lessons, as we slide into the, the target area, we're also bringing the bender fully up at the same time. So we get the slide and the bend together. Right, we do that all the time. And by the way, before I forget, you're gonna have a lot more satisfaction faking this slide sound if you spend a little bit of time on your tone and get some sustain out of your guitar. Uh, what I'm doing is a nasty low gain fuzz, low gain fuzz into a compressor pedal for some sustain and to kind of tame the fuzz and putting that into a low gain overdrive pedal to a little bit more sustain, a little bit more dirt. And then I finish it all off with a little uh, slap back on the echo and that's giving me just enough sustain to do what you're hearing. And believe me, it sounds much better in the room than it does through this cheap uh, iPhone microphone, but I recommend you work on some sustain. You'll be a lot happier with the end result. Okay, so here we are doing this. We're Index finger to the 6th fret on the B string, and when we get there, the bender's fully engaged. Right? Bender's up, so now I'm going high E with my little finger on the 8th, one note. And then I'm coming, picking the B string, uh, still held there, with the bender up, I'm going to pick it to let it down. So it's just one, two, three. If we're only that simple. Okay, so on that third note, as I'm picking to let the B string bender down, I need enough out of that note audio-wise to let it slide down to the third fret on the, B, on the B string and do some bending there without picking it again. And what I mean, it sounds like this. So up here I'm doing the three notes and it's that third note that gives me just enough audio on that B string to get down there and do the double bend. bender comes down right so all I'm doing there is was I come down on the bender on the six I'm letting my finger slide down to the third and then going up and down with the bender twice definitely play around with where you're picking in between your pickups you're gonna find a sweet spot to get the slide sound some areas are a lot better than others okay Bender's down. Now, when the bender's down, what I'm doing is a quick two notes on the third string, on the fifth and the third. I'm not over hitting them, just enough to, to make them ring out. Now, I'm on that third string, third fret, right? Now, what I'm going to do now is I've got my little finger. to the 6th fret. So that's what I'm going to do. Bender's down. I'm getting my little finger there on the 6th fret. Right? And I take the bender up quickly. It's hard to hit it in isolation, but you got to kind of use your little finger to deaden the high E for this move. There it is. And then, as the bender's up, to let it down, I have two choices here. The easy way is to do this. And the 
to go down, come off of it, and then pick, let your index finger go down to the third fret on the B string, pick that down. And then in there with your uh, ring or middle finger on the third string fifth. second string right there at the third and then with the bender down you can use your ring finger on the third string fifth do this pattern but you can use the bender you can pre-bend it before you hit the, the second string again that's the sixth fret on with your little finger on the second string your little finger up here on the B string six that a high E six sounds good too so you're really alternating play around between the B string on the six and the third fret with your index and your little finger and you can also get the high E six involved as well and that's it that's about all i've got for you today as we try to bring the b bender into our blues mix and hopefully get some more free drinks at the next open mic night always a, a bold and, and a noble ambition i say all right, I'm about out of here. I'm about bluesed out. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, great time to hit the thumbs up while you're thinking about it. If you're new to the channel, we're mostly country and western. I'm not going to lie to you, and we're going to get back to that. won't be too much blues. If you enjoy blues playing and you want to see me do more of it, good news that it already exists, you need to go to our Instagram page. The Show More section below has a direct link to our Instagram page. I don't play a lot of Bender guitar on Instagram on purpose. I kind of keep it for this channel, but there's quite a bit of blues uh, clips over there waiting for you. A couple of fun shuffles I've done, blues shuffles. And the nice thing about the Instagram clips is uh, they're only a minute long. So about the time you think, oh, this is good. Oh, he's having fun. I'm getting a little bit bored. It's over. It's only a minute. So again, that's on the Instagram. Uh, Instagram is basically me playing guitar, me drinking beer, and pictures of my dog. I never put food pictures, so, uh, you know, have a look, see for yourself. Uh, it's your first time in the bunker and you're more interested in the country and western stuff we primarily do there's a subscribe button right there i might urge you to do that while you're thinking about it before you forget us and uh, go ahead and share this video if you got a, of course there's a lot of blues players if you think anybody who has a bender might enjoy this share it while you're thinking about it otherwise i'm on out of here and i'm going to end like i always do even though it's blues it doesn't change our main motto why would it it is never too late to go on a bender and i certainly hope you do i hope this has been helpful and I'll see you again real soon here in the Bender Bunker with some more uh, both the country and the western. All right, thanks for watching and keep it bent.